All right, hello everyone, Darkside Phil here with a special video, uh, not a video that I had planned on making, and certainly not a video that I'm happy to be making, uh, but unfortunately we got some more mal malicious stuff going on in regards to myself, my content, my business, and I need to let everyone know exactly what's going on, so that you know, you know what to expect in the next couple of weeks, all right, and... Uh, at this point, you know, I'm, I mean, I say, to say that I'm at my wit's end, like, it's kind of weird because I don't even feel, like, kind of angry anymore about attacks and stuff on myself because this year I've pretty much had so much uh, just blatant negative attacks against me, whether, whether it was DDoS attacks on my internet, whether it was getting swatted, whether it was getting false copyright strikes, losing my streaming capability, you know? All these things. And... I'm kind of, at this point, I'll be honest, I think I'm starting to get desensitized. And that's not a good thing, you know. I should still have that same reaction, but I'm kind of, at this point, starting to, kind of just getting desensitized to it because it's happened so many times this year. Um, but in regards to that, let me explain. I'm not going to go too much into, into uh, length here, but I just want to let everyone know that as of right now, as of today, I've had another false copyright strike issued against me here on DSP Gaming, which is why I'm making this video and uploading it to this channel. Uh, and because of that, I have once again lost my streaming privileges, just like I did back in August. Uh, the copyright strike was issued against a video from June of 2014 that was a gameplay video that had, like, 20 seconds of an intro or something that had artwork, fan art, in the video. It wasn't intentional, it was actually, I guess, a, a video that I had done, uh, from my PC, and so it actually hadn't been even intentional, I guess, that that fan art had been playing or whatever, and uh, they flagged one of the pictures, saying that they were the legal copyright owner of the one of the pictures in this video. Come to find out, the picture in the video was a picture from E3 of Booth Girls that was put into there. And I guess someone had edited stuff onto it. I guess someone found that picture on the internet and that picture existed before I used it in a video. And so they used that to fool YouTube system into thinking that I had stolen a copyrighted picture off the internet. All the information of the person who filed this false copyright strike is false. You can see it's all completely fake, fabricated, and made up. And uh, they're obviously not the copyright holder of this E3 Booth Babes picture that was used for fan art and was submitted on my forums, legally giving me the right to use it. So it's the same song and dance as what happened to me back in August. It's completely bogus. It's going to be removed. But now we have to go through the hassle of me disputing the copyright stri strike and having to wait two weeks for it to be lifted. I had to contact Machinima. Machinima had to go ahead and... Uh, you know, contact YouTube, and now YouTube, of course, is going to drag their feet, but hopefully, just like back in August, they can restore my streaming capability so that I can start streaming again as soon as possible. Now, the good news is this. Number one, I want to make this abundantly clear. Number one, these false copyright strikes are not going to shut down my business. At least, not permanently. If three false strikes were all to take hold at once, this channel, DSP Gaming, would be suspended. And you would see, it would say it's shut down because of copyright. But as soon as I dispute those and the processing goes through, the channel would come back. The problem is this interim nonsense. This interim nonsense where now I can't stream and now I got to contact Machinima and they got to contact YouTube. And we all have to sit with our thumbs up our asses while we wait for them to take action. Which is corporate America is a slow, sluggish process to get anything through anywhere. And that is the problem, is I'm not 100%, oh no, my business is going to shut down at risk, but we're now in the hardcore gaming season, and luckily this week, let's be honest, there wasn't a heck of a lot going on. A lot of the games that came out in the past couple of weeks were pretty disappointing, or not big, you know, AAA releases that everyone wanted to see, but in the next few weeks, there are some pretty huge releases coming out that everyone's going to want to see, and if I can't stream, and if my channel shut down temporarily, yes, that's going to kill my business. And that will, that will potentially destroy everything that I've worked for and put together starting in 2008 and have done for a living since 2011. Um, and a lot of people have said, well, why don't you do something, Phil, about this? I can't. Here's the deal. In the United States of America right now, the laws are not set up to protect anyone. There is no system in place on YouTube to protect anyone against this malicious behavior. The police don't give a shit, even though it is a crime to file a false copyright notice or, or takedown notice against someone if it's not true. It's actually 100% illegal. It is a criminal act that can be punished by law. There's no one who's going to enforce it. The police aren't going to drop everything they're doing. If I were to hire a lawyer 
and the lawyer would have to hire an investigative team to look into the person who submitted this copyright claim, who, by the way, it would be proven that it was false, and therefore I probably wouldn't even have information on the real person who did it behind it, so I would have no one to sue. Even if there was definitive information on someone I could sue, there's nothing to be gained by it. I can literally cannot stop them from doing it, because it's a broken copyright system on YouTube that says you are guilty until proven innocent. We have a shitty automated robot not a human. There's no human involved in any of the copyright process on YouTube. And I want everyone to understand that. I explained this on my podcast a few weeks back. There is no human involved in the copyright process on YouTube. It is 100% automated robots who match content based off of some formula of criteria. And as long as you fool the, their system, okay, that's it. You get a copyright strike against your account. A legit copyright strike. This isn't a content ID match. If I get three of these, my channel will be shut down until they get cleared up. So, there's no one to sue. If I did sue anyone, there's nothing that I could do. I still could, legally couldn't make them stop. How do you sue? If I were to go to, to court, let's say I've spent thousands of dollars going to court, tearing it up in court. How do you sue well, for damages? Well, my channel was shut down for two weeks because of you. Estimated I would have made, I don't know, such and such amount of money in two weeks. Oh, by the way, you've already spent that and more in legal fees and time away from your business. So I have no recourse. I have no defense. I've gone to YouTube and YouTube absolutely refuses to take any responsibility for their broken, easily tricked copyright system. They don't care. To them, in their eyes, it's just, well, as long as we're not getting sued, our copyright system works. So as long as YouTube doesn't get sued, they're happy. Now, I don't make enough money to sue YouTube. I don't. If a giant bigwig on YouTube who brought in tens of thousands of dollars a day was shut down for false copyright shit like this for two weeks and they sued YouTube, yeah, if they sued them for hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars in damages because their business was shut down, they could probably win and get YouTube to change their copyright system. But I don't have that clout. I'm just a one-man band. I always have been a one-man army, you know, and I don't have the clout to really do anything about it. So I have no recourse. There's no way for me to take down the people doing it. There's no way for me to get YouTube to change their system. This will be happening from time to time. All right. Now, some people might say, well, Phil, how did this happen? I thought that back in August, you had protected yourself. Well, I did as much as I could. I did due diligence. I deleted all of the pre-streams. That's right. Any pre-stream I'd ever done since I started streaming and uploaded those to YouTube was deleted because I knew those all had fan art in them. I actually uh, deleted... Any kind of special video that I had known about on my DSP gaming channel that had some kind of artwork in it, including entire playthroughs. Yes, all of my Nintendo 3DS playthroughs are gone. Not that they're permanently gone because I have them backed up, but they're gone. I cannot have those because people will find the artwork and fool YouTube's robot system and say, oh, there's a piece of artwork in this Phoenix Wright video that's from an official Nintendo artwork, and I work for Nintendo, so I'm claiming it. It's preposterous and bogus shit, but until YouTube gets their shit together, people like me will constantly be afflicted by this. Now, you might say to yourself, but I don't understand. What about the big YouTubers? Why aren't they affected? They're protected. I already had this conversation with Machinima on YouTube. There is an upper echelon, an elite group of YouTubers who are considered the money makers for Google, and they are protected. They are protected against this nonsense, and it's ridiculous. It's an elitist way to, to do a business that will have a really shitty copyright system that everyone down here is affected by, but the elitists aren't, right? The top group aren't. Um... But guess what? It's legal. In the United States, it's legal to have a business that has policies like that because you can actually, it's actually legal to say, I will do business with these people and not this this person. I will give this person a better, you know, a, a better opportunity than this person. You could kind of do it unless you, you, you sue for like an equal opportunity employer. Uh, you know, there's nothing really could be done and I'm not employed by YouTube. I just upload my videos to them. I have a business relationship with them, but I'm certainly not employed by them. So I have no legal grounds to sue them for having someone having an elitist opportunity over me either. So ultimately, I'm powerless when it comes to this stuff, okay? So you might be saying, "All right, why is Phil making this video?" Very simple. Couple reasons. Number 1, because I want you to understand I can't stream right now. And you know, I do daily streams. It was that time in August when I didn't because of the copyright nonsense. It got cleared up, but then I was sick. I came back, and I've been doing nonstop streaming since then. I cannot stream right now on DSP Gaming. And I can't stream gameplay at all on my vlogging channel because that one's not protected by the managed partnership of Machinima, and chances are it could get all kinds of content ID issues if I tried to play a video game over there. So I cannot live stream right now. It's gone again. Now, this could be overturned 
instantly. I've, I've been talking about Machinima for the past four hours. I haven't heard from them now in about an hour and a half. And it is the weekend. And this is the other thing. Oh, it's the weekend. So that means no one works. No one's at YouTube to do anything in the offices. It's ridiculous. But that's how these businesses operate. Um, so I might not hear back from YouTube until next week. Which means probably all weekend I won't be able to stream. Uh, gameplay at least. Um, the good news is I wasn't planning on streaming this weekend, at least tomorrow, was Saturday, and I want to make that abundantly clear for everyone. It was already in my schedule that I wasn't going to do any gameplay on Saturday, tomorrow. I, I know a lot of people don't follow along with my weekend preview and my other videos that explain my schedule, but there was not going to be any gameplay on Saturday at all, so don't think, oh god, if there's no new gameplay and Phil's not streaming, he's got completely shut down. No. Tomorrow I was actually taking a day away from the gaming to do some stuff with Leanna. We're actually going to a cool pumpkin patch and we're going to do some autumn related stuff and do our errands and I'm going to do some vlogging. So if you want to see some cool vlogs, check out the King of Hate vlogs tomorrow. I'll be uploading all of those, okay? But don't worry, that's not the situation. Yes, I could still upload to the channel. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. Don't, don't worry, that wasn't the, the issue. That's one of the reasons I'm making this video to clarify. No, I'm, tomorrow was going to be a day away from gaming anyway, okay? Sunday I was going to do streaming, and if this is not resolved, there will be no live streams on Sunday. Instead, I'm just going to be recording uh, offline like I did with my Until Dawn playthrough. Sunday it's going to be the Talos Principle, which I will be playing on PS4. Uh, and so I'll be doing that on Sunday and probably sometime on Monday until, you know, we'll see. If the streaming isn't restored during the week, I'm just going to keep recording like I used to offline and uh, and uploading to YouTube, to DSP Gaming On Demand for you to watch. And that's all I can do. You know, I have to keep progressing. I can't stop because it's a business. And I can't sell. I need to make money. I need to pay my bills. A day that I don't work, a day that I don't make gameplay, and I don't do this stuff is a day that I don't pay my bills. Okay? So understand that. You know, that's what's going on right now. Now, who's responsible? It, I don't know. I have no concrete evidence because all the evidence that was in this false copyright claim is falsified. You can tell it's all fake nonsense made up on the spot. Oh, Johnny whatever and some fake email address. Garbage. Complete garbage. And YouTube's so stupid they fall for it. Um, but I can tell you this, the same people who did this back in August already earlier this week said on Twitter they were going to do this to me again this week. And I contacted Machinima in advance when they publicly said that because they're idiots and they publicly announced everything because they want the attention. And I told Machinima about it. And so that's why when I contacted Machinima today, they were like, okay, give me the info. Let's fast track because they were expecting this to happen this week. And indeed it did. Okay. Uh, it could happen again. And I have no control over it. Honestly, if it happens again... You know, I could get more false strikes against me. The only thing I can say is hopefully if I get three false strikes against me, YouTube will finally fucking move their lazy asses and stop this shit instead of having my business shut down for weeks at a time. But we'll have to see what happens, okay? Um, and that's about it. The only final thing that I will say is this. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for understanding. I know, like I said, at this time, I'm almost kind of desensitized. I really am. I'm not, I'm not angry. I mean, I am angry. I'm upset. But I'm not, you know, I'm not... I was so pissed when this was happening... You know, and now it's like so much stuff has happened that you get punch drunk over it. And it's kind of like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Um, but some people have already said, well, what can we do to help? It's very simple. I said this all week. Don't take shit for granted. Because this nonsense has been going on all year, this could all end tomorrow because of this nonsense. So the videos that are out right now, watch them. Enjoy the content that I put out this week. There's a lot of games this week that people were like, eh, it doesn't sound very good. Okay, fine, but... Check something out. I'm sure there's something that I've played over the ridiculously long amount of time that I've done videos for DSP Gaming that you could check out and that, you know, it will be inter entertaining for you. Not that, oh, Phil's not playing the game I want to see this week, so I, I don't need to watch anything of his. You don't, but there's tons of entertaining stuff on DSP Gaming on demand waiting for you to watch. If you want to find a good way to find a game I've played, thekingofhate.com, there's a playlists tab. At the top of the kingofhate.com website, click on that and type in anything. Go by letter, type in a keyword, type in a name of a game. You'll get a ridiculous amount of matches and you'll be able to watch fun content. This is how I find my own videos. Leanna watches my playthroughs from time to time. And that's how we find it is, you know, we use it. We don't use YouTube. YouTube's a piece of shit. Use the kingofhate.com search engine. Uh, and you, you can find all kinds of fun stuff you can watch. All right, that's one. Number two. You know, if you know, if you can, if you want to go above and beyond Patreon, yes, I'm not going to go into massive amount of money, uh, uh, a massive amount of uh, detail about it because I, it's money, money, money. I know people are saying, "Oh, now Phil's going to bring up money." No, I'm just saying, people who ask, "How can we help?" Patreon's the other way. You can watch my content, or you can pledge to my Patreon at patreoncom forward slash phil and uh, that's it. You know, for right now, that's it. Maybe in the future, I'll have other ways, but right now, that's all you can do. Nothing that you do is going to ultimately help. 
You know what I mean? These people who are doing this to me have been doing it for years. There's no justification. And I'll say this one thing, and I'll end the video here. If ever you wanted proof that these people who hate me, my so-called detractors, are so disingenuine, are so full of fucking bullshit with anything that they've ever said about legit criticism, anything like that, right? What's the number one thing that people dislike me for on the internet? Because I play games like Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, I play them badly, I blame Kojima and other game developers, and I blame the game for my own mistakes, and I rush through the games, and I don't play them well, and I swear at the games, and I make playthroughs of it, and it's a sham, or not really a sham, but people like to say, oh, it's an embarrassment, this guy's one of the worst gamers on the internet, alright? Even though I think that those playthroughs that I did in the past were done for entertainment purposes, not because I was trying to do master level playthroughs, but people apparently don't understand that. But that's the number one thing with my big detractors is that Phil never changes. He plays games shittily. He makes videos that are low quality gameplay-wise. He blames the game. He won't tell, take his own mistakes. He doesn't learn. He doesn't take his time with the games. Yada, yada, yada. All right. I just completed a month-long playthrough of Metal Gear Solid Five, where I took my time with the game. I played it... At a low level at the start, I took my time to learn the fucking game engine. I actually did pretty decently with the game. I got several high ranks like A's and S's in the game, which I certainly was not expecting. I enjoyed the hell out of Metal Gear Solid 5. I even did a ton of side content during the playthrough. When the game was over, not only did I rate the game highly, but I actually praised Kojima for making a masterpiece of a game, and I strongly chastised Konami for making the game not as good as it should have been because they basically cut Kojima off in the second half of the game and the game wasn't as good as the artistic, you know, vision of Kojima. And I basically kind of almost completely flipped from those previous playthroughs of Metal Gear. I did a good job in the game. I took my time. I rated the game highly. I certainly didn't blame the game developers or blame anyone. I blame Konami, if anyone, for the shortcomings of the game because it was them who were responsible. And here we are, and I still get the same treatment, right? The same people. It's the same fucking people who did it last time who claimed, oh, we're doing it because we don't like Phil, because he's dishonest, and, you know, this, this, blah, blah. it's bullshit. It's complete and utter fucking bullshit. The people who do this shit to someone like me are fucked in the head, and they do it because they know they can get attention, and they can hurt someone. I can hurt someone on this planet. I can concretely see it hurt them, and there's no consequences for me because it's all cyber. It's all on the internet. And because it's 2015, there's no kind of reper... I can't call the police. There's no repercussions. The police won't give a fuck. You know, maybe in 20, 30 years, if this becomes so fucking abundantly rampant, right? And YouTube is so inundated with false copyright shit that either they have to change or the police get involved, then we'll see some action. But right now, that's why they're doing it. Not because they're trying to prove a point or because they think that you know, I need to change. If anything, I've shown over these past few years that I can change, I can listen to feedback, I can make things better, and I can become a better person. Ultimately, most people who follow along my content, even people who had issues with me for a long ass time, can look at that and say, yeah, Phil has changed, and I've tried to change. It's not going to please these people, which is what I said from day one. When you have someone who will maliciously hurt someone for their own benefit, it doesn't matter if it causes a positive change or not. That's not what they were in it for. So they're going to keep doing it. I fully believe no matter what happens, they will keep trying to attack me. And uh, I just got to be diligent. You know, I have to be diligent. I have to not give up. I have to keep pushing forward. I have to say, nope, business as usual. If I can't stream, big deal. I'll keep uploading videos. If my channel temporarily gets shut down, I'll say, well, okay, plan B. Talk to Machinima. Can I set up an alternate channel? Can we get that set up? Or can we get a fast track to getting the channel back? Because this is obviously all false nonsense. And go from there. The bottom line is there's no way for me to protect myself. I can't go through 40,000 plus videos that I've uploaded since 2008 and make sure there's not a piece of artwork or a single frame of something from the, another place on the internet, anywhere in it. It's impossible, all right? I just got to put up with this nonsense, and I have to rely on you guys and gals for support, that you're still going to watch my videos, you're still going to spread the word and say, watch Phil's stuff, and he's really being a trooper, and he's sticking in there and trying to stay positive, and we need to support him. And that's all I have to say. So you won't see anything new on DSP Gaming on Saturday. I'll be back on Sunday with the Talos Principle. If I can stream it, I will. If not, it'll be offline videos that I'll upload to, to uh, you know, DSP Gaming starting Sunday, and we'll go from there, and I'll let everyone know daily, obviously, on Twitter and everything, what's going on, and when things will be back to normal. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your support. That's all I have to say about that. Peace out.